Hello people, in this video I am going to show you how to set up the API testing in the Codecept.js framework. So the Codecept.js uh, is a open source advanced uh, framework which is available in the market with the most support for the advanced uh, tools for the automation like Playwright, Puppeteer and all. So but right now in this video we are going to concentrate on API testing. So I will be showing how to set up REST helper and GraphQL helper in the Codecept.js. Okay? So we can, uh, and this is the official website for the Codecept.js where they will provide the detailed documentation for whatever the testing we are going to start with. So to to have this uh, REST and uh, GraphQL setup, so for either to set up REST or GraphQL, it won't be much differentiated, it's just the way of configuration we do, okay. So here for REST, we will be using the REST and uh, we will give all the endpoint details and any the request uh, auth details like kind of very static header details are there we can give here and if it is a bearer token we can even uh, do we uh, we can even given it as a secret so that it won't show on the logs and here if you see these are all the uh, available methods so generally what we do for the api testing is like uh, uh, we will check whether any request headers are needed and uh, bearer authentication and few of the operations we do like get, delete, patch, post, put and any timeout request we want then we can set up that also with all the inbuilt available functions. So this is an added advantage for the Codecept.js as it is providing the maximum support uh, that a uh, very new automation uh, tester can start with. Okay, so without any late, I'm going to use uh, the Visual Studio as my IDE and I have already created one folder. So I'm going to open that one. And as we all know in the JS project, we need to have the package.json file. So for that, we need to give the command npm init. Uh, and this hyphen y made up a work easy with all the default details it will create the package.json file without the hyphen y it will ask each and every question so what should be the name version main everything and then if you provide the details with that it will create so right now i am not giving any details like that i am just telling it to create by default so that's why it has taken uh, all the details and it has created okay so here the, now the package.json file has been created so now, uh, so now if we go to the configuration, they are saying to add it the rest and on like this. Okay, so for that we need to have the configuration file created for the Codecept.js. So to have the Codecept.js, let me go here. First, we need to have the Codecept.js installed. So, right now, I'm going to install the Codecept.js. So now if you see the Codecept.js has been installed and we can see it in the dependencies. Okay. Now to have the configuration file for the Codecept.js get created, we need to use npx Codecept.js init. Okay. So if you want to write the scripts in TypeScript, you can give yes. And it is telling the where are your tests located. It by default it has taken the root folder and there it is going to create underscore test.js with asterisk uh, that is what it will ask uh, the name of the test in further questions. 
uh, but this is how the location and this is how the test file is going to create and get saved if you don't want to have it uh, created by default location you can start typing here like test and then you can give however you want to save the test okay now we are going to have the helper rest or graphql so the only the main difference to set up for the rest api testing or the graphql api testing is in this step like uh, which helper you are going to choose for example you are going to start with the rest api testing you can go directly with the rest helper but if you want to go for the graphql testing you can go for the graphql and then you can select it so right now i'm going to check with rest so i'm selecting the rest and do you want to use json response helper for assertions on json responses you can give yes and then where should logs will be created it is again showing the default location of the output which is on the root folder it is going to create the output folder and under that it is going to save all the logs screenshots reports everything but if you don't want to prefer in that way you can always give your uh, custom location path if you are okay with the default location you can just give enter and it is asking for the language and here it is asking for the endpoint of the api for now i am going with the default one but later on i'll show you how to do how to enter your custom one okay now step file has been created so now it is asking which feature file you are going to test so maybe i can give like this the name okay so now here if you see in the code set js folder it is, has been created the test and it is have been saved the sample because i have given the name sample here in place of asterisk it will take the feature file name whatever we give in this questionnaire and then it will append to that format so here if you see in our uh, questionnaire i have given that you need to create an root for uh, test folder under the root folder and it needs to get saved in this format so that's what it has done here now if you go and see it has been created like this okay so now here if you go it has taken the rest helper and it has taken this endpoint so for now if you want to have any endpoint tested you can give that endpoint here for example generally in our application we will have the different api endpoints for our application but the base one will be there that one you can give it here so just for the demo purposes i have just taken this uh, sample api from the google i'm just going here and changing this api so here if you see the dummy dot uh, dot com so till this one uh, the name is same so you can basically have that one given as a, a base endpoint in the rest helper in the configuration file and the rest of the api you can uh, append here so right now if we come to the test file and if you see here uh, the scenario and then here uh, using i only we are going to access all the functions in the code set js framework so here i am going to give the here you can see after a helper once it is added on this configuration file it is going to show all the auto uh, auto functions here so that you can validate whatever you want see this uh, response code uh, whatever the response code is there you can even see that one okay so see response equals response matches json so everything they are supporting here okay so now i'm going to call the get method here because the api i'm going to get all the employee details so i'm going to use the get fun get uh, function so send get request so here if you see it is saying it is saying any url endpoint like here you can see api dot users dot json or any headers if are there you can even send that headers also in the get request but uh, that is an optional kind of thing for now we are sending the url details so i already we have pasted till uh, dot com so i'm going to have it like this so okay and this get request if you see it is written promise so that's why you need to use async and await that reason i'm going to use async here and i'm going to wait until it resolve the promise and give the data or response for us so i'm going to
so i am going to save the response here okay and if you want to assert that one response you can assert that one see response code is successful and you can even print the response here okay now let me try to run this one so to run the scripts you need to give npx code js run and the folder path if you want to particularly run the specific files among all the list of uh, collection of js files so here right now only one single test file is there i can directly give npx code of js run it will just pick up this one and run it but in case if there are 10 tests dot js files are there and if you want to run only single test in that case you need to pass the path like this okay so now if you see here it is success this is the data okay uh, uh, assertions you can use like this and one more assertion is I see response code is so you can directly give the response code here okay now let me try this again it is showing too many request response code is not expect, expected as the same so here you can see one more one of the example so if that assertions gone wrong it can show like this way okay so this is how you need to validate it okay and you can even uh, assertion the schema everything as we have already inbuilt methods for that okay so uh, in this video even either for the graphql or a rest api you can follow the same set of steps and in the coming videos i'm going to share few more info so please people subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you